I can't believe I forgot to do this. You know, I did I did movies in May. I forgot to do movies in June. And I know I'm a little late. I'm actually two weeks late. That's not a good thing. <sighs> Anyways. I'm about to do the movies in June. I'm going to go over the ones that have been released. And I'm going to say my opinions about it if I've seen them or not. And yeah, hopefully you will feel satisfied. And if you're ever really caring... I mean, sure, I don't have a lot of views on this channel. I think, like, okay, where's your uh, movies in June update, ASO? Well, here it is now. It's better, better late than never. Anyways, uh, Entourage was the first movie that came out in June. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't fantastic. It was more of an extended episode of the show, and that's it. Now, I know in today's Chapter 3 came out, Lee Winnell. Thank you, Austin Putnam and Chris Dunn for giving me the correct pronunci pronunciations of, the, of his name. The writer, director of the movie, who also wrote the last two. I did not see any of them. I was not looking, I didn't really want to see it. I know it's a prequel, but I'm not a huge horror guy. I may watch Insidious one day. I don't have my DVR, I may watch it today. Maybe I, may watch, maybe I have to watch Jurassic Park sequels first, because, you know, Jurassic World comes out tomorrow. Love and Mercy, I actually want to show you guys something. Yep, that's the poster for Love and Mercy. Pretty cool poster when you think about it. I actually got it after the uh, after I saw it. They were giving them out, and I took one. Second poster, the first one. Hate me all you want. Uh, hate me all you want, I don't give two fucks. Anyways. Away from that, hopefully I'm gonna get some real posters put in my room, like maybe Star Wars poster, maybe some uh, old-fashioned movie posters, maybe Raiders of the Lost Ark, E.T. Who the hell knows? It'd be nice though. Although my, there's not a lot of space in my room. I can do it in the game room. That's what people allow, and they don't fuck with them. Want to on that? Love and Mercy was a good biographical drama based on the life of Brian Wilson. The genius, a tortured genius of the Beach Boys. Want to go back to the Beach Boys? Great performances from Paul Dano, John Cusack, the Banks, Paul Giamatti. It's a truly great film. Five out of five, one of my favorite movies of the year so far, and I really recommend you guys see it, especially if you are a fan. Uh, Spy came out the same week. I wanted to see that because I mean, I love Paul Feig, I love Bridesmaids. I enjoyed the heat. I love Melissa McCarthy. I have not seen Tammy, so that's the thing. God, I haven't seen a terrible movie from her. And you know, the movie just looks funny. It got great reviews. I'm gonna go see it. Bet on that. Anyways, the fuck was that? Um, also, we have Jurassic World, one of the most anticipated movies of the year. The sequel, the sequel to Jurassic Park, from what I've heard. There, I think they're just like ignoring the other sequels because yeah, we don't give a shit about that. Directed by Colin Trevorrow, written by him, Derek Connolly, Rick Jaffa, Amanda Silver. Sorry, Chris Pratt. Now, was I excited for this movie? Yes. But I was a little skeptical because Colin Trevorrow, this is his first ever big film. This is his second film. I guess it's good, I guess it's a good sophomore effort from what I've seen in the reviews, I guess. Ow. I don't know what I'm doing there. Um, but yeah, I'm a little excited for it because I mean, it looks cool. The trailers are cool. And I like Chris Pratt. I mean, I loved Guardians of the Galaxy. That was great. There's also a movie coming out called Dope. And I think that's starring Tony Revolori. Yep. Tony Revolori, who was in Grand Best Hotel. I love that movie. One of my favorite movies of last year. Wes Anderson, you are a god. Comedy god. You make some of my favorite comedies of all time. Thank you, Wes Anderson. Anyways, dope. I didn't always see any trailers for it, but I mean, it's getting good reviews so far from early screenings and shit. And I'll give it a chance. Inside Out, the new Pixar movie directed by Pete Doctor. Also, also I think it's like, uh, from what I'm reading here, has some co directed by Ronnie Del Carmen. Also, you have Pete Doctor on the script, along with Meg LaFall, Josh Cooley, who you may never heard of. Starring Amy Poehler, Louis Black. Mindy Kaling, Bill Hader, who else? Phil Smith, oh my crap. Those four are the people I only really know about, especially Amy Poehler, Mindy Kaling, Bill Hader. Ow, damn it. That's better. 
I am so excited for that movie. I love Pixar, and their most recent efforts today just haven't been up to par with some of their most, their, I feel like the 2010s have been a low for them. Because, I mean, Cars 2, that's the only Pixar movie I don't like. The first one was not great. It was a little subpar compared to some of their other efforts. But overall, I thought it was a fine movie. Mater is kind of annoying. But Cars 2, Mater's the main character. He's irritating as hell. Also, the dumb spy plot. This movie's just so dumb. It's for kids. We, that's just not the Pixar we know. It was a major low for them. Who cares what was successful? It ruined your streak of constant critical and commercial success. Cars ruined the critical acclaim, but overall, they still had, it was still, it has still got good reviews from critics. Cars 2 is a major low. Cars 2 is the only thing I don't like. It's a major low, and I feel I'm pissed off at them. Brave was not fantastic, but could have been worse. It wasn't great, but I still enjoy it. It's more of a di it's more of an average film than really anything else. It's a above average, because I, mean, I still enjoy aspects of it. I still find it funny, but it just really isn't up to par with their other works. 2010s. I mean, they start off with so much promise with Toy Story 3. I love that movie. Fantastic conclusion. So, I, I thought it was going to be a conclusion, but turns out we're getting another one. Hopefully, that will be good. Corn of I Heard is supposed to be a standalone film. Hopefully, it will be a good standalone film. Just... Damn it, Pixar! Are you trying to get? Are you trying to milk this franchise out? Because if you are, I am gonna be pissed off at you. I'm gonna hate you the rest of your. I'm just gonna hate you if you're gonna keep doing this shit to us. Get Incredibles two out, please. Get Brad Bird back. We love and Brad Bird. You need to redeem yourself after the disappointment that was Tomorrowland. I didn't hate Tomorrowland, but it just wasn't up to par. It was your. It was my least favorite film from you. Favorite will always be The Incredibles. No doubt. Fair live action film, Mission Possible Ghost Protocol, excited for Rogue Nation. Anyways, Inside Out looks funny. I really enjoyed the clips. I really enjoyed the trailers. And I'm just excited because I mean, it looks, I mean, got great reviews so far, cool animation. It'd be nice to see something very original from them in a while. Because I mean, they've been doing sequels and prequels, such as Monsters University. I didn't hate it. I enjoyed it, but you know, it's just not them. It's just not up to par. Also, we didn't have a Pixar movie last year. What the hell? Why? Fuck. Seriously, we kept getting at least one film a year from them. Now we're getting two this year. They'll make up for the absence of one in 2014. The Good Dinosaur. Now, I know that had some issues, but you know, that comes out like September, I think, so I don't need to do that for this video. I'm just mentioning it. Except for Inside Out. Ted 2. Now, I'm a little skeptical on this because No Way's Down in the West wasn't very good. I was disappointed in that movie, and I was a little disappointed in Seth MacFarlane. And it's a comedy sequel. <coughs> a comedy sequel usually hasn't worked. Now, they're having some good examples of ones working today, such as 22 Jump Street being my favorite comedy sequel of all time, Pitch Over 2 being enjoyable, although a little subpar compared to the first one, and that's what you get. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's kind of sad that I, mean, I don't have any more comedy sequels. If you have any comedy sequels ever, actually, that's not my favorite comedy sequel of all time. Actually, my favorite is Hot Fuzz. I mean, the Cornell trilogy is, is a trilogy of films that are really just standalone films, but they're still part of a trilogy because they have Cornell ice cream in there. Awesome product placement. Yeah, Hot Fuzz is my favorite. I have not seen The World's End. I want to, though, because I mean, I, I love the first two, Sean Dunn, Hot, Hot, Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz is my favorite comedy sequel. Because you, sure, it's not, sure, it's a standalone sequel, but it's still awesome in every sense of the word. But if you're talking about a real sequel, like that one doesn't count, Point Jump Street. Anyways, Ted 2, from what I've seen, looks promising, looks pretty funny. I'm just hoping they don't give away all the best laughs in the trailer. I just don't want that. Because I don't want that happening again, because you realize, oh, then the rest of the movie is, is just not going to be funny anymore. I'm just going to have to cry on the ground. And forever. And cry, you know, I think that Seth MacFarlane disappointed me. Now, I actually enjoyed the first ten. I'm not, I, I, I'm just, uh, let me get up for a minute. Cry and say, fuck you, Seth MacFarlane. But hopefully not. Because the trailer looks promising, but I'm still skeptical, because could it be the same thing again? I mean, there's no Milo Kunis in there, which is a little disappointing. But still, I'm hoping they can make up for that. Trailers were fine, I actually laughed, but still, I'm still worried, because it's a sequel. Now, I actually enjoyed the first Ted. I enjoyed it. It was a funny movie. I laughed my ass off throughout it. It has some, it has this brand of humor, Seth MacFarlane's brand of humor, but it still was fitting. It also had more of an R-rated flair to it. It was rated R, so it was this one. Thank God for that. But it's fitting. Hopefully this one will. And I know that they actually made that Ted 3 joke in Entourage, which didn't really fit because of the time period setting. I think it was in 2012. If they said in 2015, it would have made more sense. Anyways. 
yeah, I'm hopeful, but still, Max, you know, I know her, that, uh, we all heard of that movie. The, the new Bose Yakin film, starring Josh Wiggins, who I actually kind of knew from middle school. It's, yeah, he used to be in my French class. I didn't even know he ever acted until I heard about Max. Yeah, I know he, I know he did Hellion with Aaron Paul. I didn't see it, though. I never really even heard of it. So, yeah. It's not good. Okay, these are the ones I found. Max, I mean, that could be a good family film. I mean, you do have the director of... Remember the Titans, and that's a great movie, no doubt. It's, it's just not that great film. I'm going to look on Flickster for more, because I'm going to look on Wikipedia. They do post good information, actually. Um, Dope comes out next week. Same for Inside Out. So excited. <laughs> um, this is not a lot... Okay, yeah, that's really it. Yeah, sorry I didn't give this to you at the beginning of the month or anything like that, but I hope this makes up for it. Anyway, guys, comment below. Are there other movies that you're that you're excited to see this June? Are there some you're not? Do you have any others that I, that that you want me to mention that I missed? Comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.